Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're taking a closer look at the differences between cloud storage and storing your data at home. So guys, before we get started, just a little background story. Since one year, I'm doing full-time TikTok and that means over one terabyte of short videos on my smartphone. So that's quite a lot and I need to store it somewhere. And the most convenient way is to store it in the cloud and download on demand. But also I'm a YouTuber and I don't want to just throw away all my videos. I want to save them. Maybe I need some shots in another video or later if I want to include something from the past. So I also have a network attached storage in my server rack. So two QNIP NAS, they are filled with hard drives. And the idea in this video was to show you the differences because many people ask me, is it better to get a cloud service or is it better to actually um, buy hard drives, buy a NAS system and host it in your home? So today I'll guide you through the differences between storing your data at home and storing your data in the cloud. So let's go. Comparing a NAS to a cloud storage is actually not a 100% fair comparison. It's more like apples and oranges. If your priority is safety, cloud storage and a local single drive backup might be the best choice. A NAS in turn offers increased storage and space, but also comes with some downsides in terms of security when used as a personal cloud. Now let's make things clear. Cloud storage is renting up space from a provider. You can imagine it as renting space in several NAS devices standing somewhere in the world. In its turn, network attached storage provides a space for the whole local network and usually finds its place in your dorm room. With the ability to store and share data, most NAS devices can also run as servers for your website, FTP or else, and support as multimedia servers considering UPnP and DLNA in particular. I'm using both for my work and I built a server rig in my office with two QNAP NAS and I use pCloud on all my phones, laptops and desktop PCs. You have quick and easy access to your files from both. Regardless of the solution you choose, your performance depends on the speed of your internet connection as well as the amount of data you store. But still, a NAS usually grants you more options for access like to use it also with your smart TV or consoles. Now, security is another controversial criteria when choosing between NAS versus cloud storage. With the cloud, the third-party provider takes responsibility for your data. So a NAS seems more attractive by this logic, but modern cloud services in turn like pCloud offer you exclusive security measures, encrypting your data and storing them in reliable data centers, and pCloud specifically offers client-side encryption with the so-called crypto folder. With pCloud's unique client-side encryption functionality, users' files are safely hidden. So pCloud Crypto lets users protect their files with high-end security, making it as easy as placing a file in a folder. With a NAS, especially using it as a cloud, you're opening a lot of potential security risk by exposing your data to the internet. So when you run a NAS, security is your responsibility. With a cloud service, they take over this part. The difference between NAS versus cloud lies in on-site versus off-site backup as well, and each has its own pros and cons. Now with a NAS, there's also always a little risk that you will lose your data if something happens like a theft or a hard drive failure, for example. Of course, you can run a RAID and you can also backup it on other devices, but this also adds to the initial costs for the system. If you use cloud off-site backup, there is little you have to worry about. Your data will be safe whatever happens, especially with pCloud as they are a Swiss company with strict regulations and standards. In recent years, NAS devices have become more user-friendly and consumer-orientated. But still, a NAS is for more tech-savvy users, and a NAS cannot compete with the cloud in its ease of use. As compared to NAS, cloud services are more intuitive and have all variety of desktop and mobile apps. Now, nowadays, you can find NAS and cloud storage for any budget but NAS may still be the cheaper solution as a very long time storage if you have to store a lot of data. That's at least true for monthly plans, but for instance pCloud is offering lifetime plans and especially on Black Friday right now, they have amazing deals for the lifetime storage, which is even cheaper than buying a NAS and the hard drives. So nowadays, cloud service, depending on the size, is relatively cheap compared to NAS devices. So for instance, I just spent around 400 euros for three four terabyte NAS drives. So if you want to get quickly more storage for a cheap price, a cloud is actually a great option. 
Now guys, to quickly sum it up, a NAS is no better anymore in 2021 than a reliable cloud service. Unless you really want to store enormous amounts of data and also access them really, really fast. But for that, you also need to invest quite some money. All right, then now let's go to the computer. Let's check out pCloud. Let's check out my NAS and I'll give you some additional feedback. All right, guys, so we're now here on my computer and let me quickly show you how I use pCloud and my NAS on my system. As you can see right over here, it looks like I would have a bunch of hard drives inside of my PC, but actually I just have two SSDs inside of the PC. So C and E, two one terabyte SSDs, and all the other drives are either network drives or cloud drive. So the third drive right over here, as you can see, it's the pCloud drive. And this is one of the most amazing features about pCloud that you can integrate your cloud storage as a drive into Windows or Mac and you can access it just like a hard drive inside of your computer. This is the next level convenience because you can just open it up like this. As you can see, let's say I would go to a desktop so you can do a full backup here or just have data inside and access it really easily. And there we go. Um, yeah, let's just open something up. As you can see, let's take this one. Um, that's a report from our portfolio and it opens up super fast. So we store actually a lot of work files in there because it's very, very easy to use and I can just access it um, like it would be inside of my computer. But also the same goes if you have a NAS, then you can integrate um, your drives um, in your computer, as you can see as network drives. And depending on your network, you can also access them maybe even faster than the cloud if you have um, for instance, a 10 gigabit switch like I have, Wi-Fi 6, I can access them really, really fast. The pCloud drive is also fast, but it really depends on your internet connection. You can also measure your internet connection on the pCloud website to see how fast you can upload and download. So my um, internet connection is not the fastest one, 70 down, 20 up. So with 70 Mbits down, I can actually um, access data here on the pCloud drive. All right, um, that's it. So. Both things are kind of convenient, I would say. Then let's check out um, what you can actually do with a NAS. And there we go. We are now logged in into my QNAP NAS and you can also set up your own cloud if you have a NAS. But there are some reasons why you probably don't uh, want to do it. Now, first of all, um, it could be a little bit complicated. Now with my QNAP cloud, it's actually working quite well, but you need to um, also configure your network and that can be a little bit tricky. Now, let's do a little check here. Um, if you have a router that supports UPnP, um, actually it's more simple, but um, if you have to do it manually, like I would have to do, then it can be a little bit complicated. If you don't know about ports and port forwarding, um, you can also do some mistakes here. Like you open up your data, your um, network basically um, to the internet, which can be a security issue. Now, if you have it in pCloud, now pCloud won several awards about um, being one of the most secure cloud providers. Um, I guess it's a much safer bet to leave it on pCloud than um, having it at home where you think it's more safe, but then you open up the internet connection, you open up your data to the internet and there uh, could be some security issues. Anyhow, if you want to run a cloud with a lot of storage, then um, a home cloud is also doing the job. Other than that, if you invest money into NAS, for sure you have all the other things like Plex Media Server, um, you can also use it on the phone, but it requires a lot more effort to set everything up and also to maintain it. But guys, what about data loss and backups? If you have a NAS, you're actually responsible for that on yourself. So if you just run the disks without any RAID, then if one drive fails and you don't have a backup, everything is gone. If you have a RAID, it's a little bit more secure. So if one hard drive fails, for instance, in RAID 5, you can reconstruct the data. I run three hard drives, um, identical hard drives in RAID 5. So if one hard drive breaks, I can actually reconstruct the data, but that takes time. And it's also not really a backup. So a, ba a RAID is not replacing a backup and I know a bunch of people that still have RAID systems but still have either backups or just store um, some things in the cloud. Now when you have your data in the cloud you don't need to worry about any backups of your cloud data because they have five copies of the files on different servers so it's 100% unlikely that there could be something wrong and your data is lost. So at home, you still need to have backups. You should run a RAID system, which makes it also kind of more expensive. 
But except of security, storing data and everything, you can do much, much more things with a NAS. You can use it as a media server. As I've told you before, you can run your own cloud. Um, you can also use it for video rendering, streaming. So it's a very nice and versatile device, especially QNAP has a lot of applications, makes it really, really easy to use. And the cloud is basically just, yeah, kind of to store your data in a safe place. So also combining a NAS and cloud really makes sense. If you're just looking for data to store and it's not a lot of data, a cloud is always the better way because you don't need to worry about data safety, encryption or anything, and also what happens if something breaks down. Because if your NAS breaks down, um, your data may be lost. And in the cloud, it's very, very, very unlikely that your data gets lost. All right, that's regarding the NAS. Now let's check out pCloud and what pCloud is actually offering. So um, this is the back end when you are logged in on the website. There is also an app for Android and iOS um, that has all the features, but I'll quickly walk you here through everything. First of all, I have here the 500 gigabyte plan um, with um, crypto encryption, as you can see right over here. And um, I'll quickly show you what you can do with it. Now, first of all, I can access here all the files, as you can see right over here. Then um, you can see you can make a public folder, um, which you can actually share. You can embed in websites and whatever you want to do. You can also rewind your account from up to 30 days ago, which is really amazing. You have a trash. If you delete something, you can actually take it out of the trash. Then we have your backup. So as you can see, um, this is my desktop computer. You can preview also an old version of the folder you're currently in, choose date and time and click rewind. So that's really amazing to also track down if something happened, if you lost some data somewhere, really, really cool. Then you can also do a mobile backup. For instance, um, we tried it here with the iPhone. You can see here all my pictures and yeah, um, you can open them up right over here. You have some Instagram pictures, guys, and you have everything here in the cloud. What's also really amazing, for instance, on an iPhone, iCloud gives you two terabytes of storage, but what do you do after it's full? And usually you will say two terabytes, but that's so much, but actually I'm running TikTok since, I'm running a TikTok channel since around about a year, and I have 1.6 terabytes full on my iCloud. So um, what I want to do with pCloud, get the two terabyte um, lifetime storage, and then um, copy all my iCloud things to pCloud, then delete it from my iCloud and start over again. And um, after that is full again, I need to come up with something different. But at least that is an option to easily migrate data also from your iPhone to another cloud storage. And of course, guys, um, there's third party integration. For instance, you can back up Google Photos in pCloud. You can back up Dropbox in pCloud. You can even back up social media accounts like Facebook in pCloud, which is really cool too. Then right over here, we have the crypto folder, which you can see right over here. So basically, um, I have to enter here my password in order to unlock it. Okay, got it wrong. As you can see, pretty safe. If you don't know the password, you actually cannot access it. All right, guys, I've now unlocked my crypto folder, which you can see right over here. And now you will say that's something special. That's a folder with a password, but it is kind of special. Um, this is client side encryption. That means the passphrase, not even pCloud will know. And that's really, really important. So um, only you know the access to um, the folder and um, that basically takes out um, some kind of paranoia that um, the provider could actually leak your data, which is not possible in any way. And um, it's actually really, really cool because here you can really save your things super, super secure. And I think pCloud also won several awards for this technology. And of course, you can see here your shared links, folders, file requests. Um, you can do bookmarks and audio right over here where you can filter for songs, artists, albums or playlists. All right. Um, if you go to download right over here, um, you can actually download pCloud for Windows. I will quickly show you how that looks like. So here we have the pCloud drive for Windows. Um, as you can see, you can see your plan here. You can upgrade. You can open the drive, um, which you can also do from my PC. Then um, here you can see the backup. So it backs up my desktop documents, downloads. You can also add a folder here to the backup. Here you can just um, also add new folders to sync, either a local folder or a pCloud drive folder. Then um, here you can invite people to the folder. You can request files. Here you can also access um, the crypto folder. So currently it's not accessible. And if it's not accessible, you have to unlock it and put in here your passphrase. 
Then um, right over here, we have the settings as you can see. And yeah, um, also here for the crypto folder, for instance, that's really important. Um, if you put your PC, for instance, in sleep mode, that it automatically locks the crypto folder. No one can sneak to your PC and access the data or un unlock your crypto folder on pCloud drive start. Um, this also works right over here. And you can also exclude things from backup or syncing because it doesn't make sense to backup, for instance, your Windows folder or anything like that. All right, um, that's it. That's the application as you can see right over here. And let's go quickly back because here in the settings, this is also quite interesting. So here you can do, for instance, a speed test to actually see how fast the connection to the service is. And as you can see right now, I'm downloading with 30 Mbits. So my connection is not that fast, but um, that's why I use it to back up actually smaller files, which are really important in the cloud and things like video files, which I use for my YouTube videos, actually backed up on my NAS. So it's really important for me to use cloud storage and the NAS because you can already replace that in the workflow I'm having. All right, guys, um, that's it. That is basically how pCloud looks like and how the NAS looks like. And now let's come to my final conclusion. All right, guys, so we're now here at the end of this video and let me quickly sum it up. If you want to access your data on the go on multiple devices, if you need extra storage and you don't want to care about anything, a cloud storage is really the easiest way to go. If you have enormous data and you also want to access it fast, you need it for rendering or whatever, then I would actually prefer to have the data in my house, so to get a NAS or anything, but then also you have much more costs. You need to buy the hard drive, you need to buy the NAS, you need to pay electricity, you need to set it up correctly and secure to remotely access it if you want to, and therefore a cloud storage is actually much, much easier if you want to access your data from anywhere and not only at home to share it between the workstations. So to be really honest, it really depends on your use case. In my case, I have both. I have the pCloud Cloud and also I have the NAS for the really huge files I need fast on my PC because then I also don't need to download them from the cloud. But just my really important things are all in the cloud because pCloud is also very secure. And also they have some really amazing Black Friday deals on lifetime storage. And yes, guys, you heard right, lifetime storage. So it's always very suspicious if a company is offering that, just imagine fitness centers or something like this. But pCloud is very trustworthy. There are plenty of reviews on the internet and they are really good cloud service. So make sure to check it out on Black Friday because those offers will probably never come back for this price. Anyhow, if you have any questions about the cloud service, about um, NAS or anything else, about hard drives, then make sure to leave a comment down below. Or if you have questions, what's still the best use case for you, make sure to also comment down below and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. So big thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Have a nice day and bye.